Welcome Sagittarius guys. I'm back with another video. So this is going to be a general read. It may or may not resonate. If it happens to resonate all the better. Be sure to like and comment below and share with your family and your friends. To my newbies, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe, guys. You're not going to want to miss out on future videos. So this is going to be for my Sagittarius. I'm not sure if I said that in the beginning, but this is Sagittarius, okay? So give me a message for Sagittarius, please. I'm going to start off using the Millennial Oracle deck. All right, so, oh, okay, all right, y'all just want to pop out on me, all right, so we got struggle is real, sorry, not sorry, those jumped out together, so it looks like there's, maybe you, you are um, in competition, some type of competition, you're trying to make sure that you're on point, you're trying to do something perfect, but something could be struggling here. Okay, something could be struggling. But then we got, sorry, not sorry. What I did wasn't wrong. Don't care what people think. Unremorseful, bitchy, and don't care. All right, so let's see. Tell me what else. It's like, I feel like some of y'all are competing or there's like this, you're trying to make sure that you stay on top of somebody else is struggling. It's like, what they got to do with me type of vibe. Yeah, okay, we got Bay. We got Bay. All right, so this could be in regards to your Bay. okay? We got, <laughs> you're surprised that this person thinks that you're a simp, okay? Now we got Shook and Simp. You're surprised that this person thinks that this is what's going on. I see it now, okay, I see it. I see what's going on. Yeah. You are doing the best. You're at the top of your game. Somebody that you're dealing with may be going through a struggle and you're not sorry about it. You don't feel no type of way about it. Okay. Now we got to put on blast. So somebody been low key trying to put somebody on blast. Being publicly embarrassed. Personal business exposed. Exposing secrets called out. But then we got low key right here. So something is supposed to be low key. Maybe that you and this person is chilling. Maybe it was supposed to be on the low. Okay. But somebody wants to put somebody on blast. Maybe you want to put this person on blast. But maybe you can't. Because it's supposed to be like on the low. <laughs> type of vibe. Yeah, okay, so somebody's got bread crumbed, okay, and this is the thing. You may look at this person, you may be judging this person, or this person could be judging you. Either way, somebody's being judged. Maybe the situation is supposed to just be something casual, y'all link up. I'm getting like sneaky link type of vibes here, but somebody got the the messy end of the stick. Somebody got bread crumbed, okay. Maybe you feel breadcrumb and now this person, you know, tried to act all bougie with you or whatever, or they breadcrumbed you and now you're doing very well and you, you know, you got you over here like this. <laughs> all right. So we got orbiting and tendering. So it looks like you could, could have met this person online. Okay. This could have been an online thing that's going on one here. But you're definitely not sorry, okay? You're surprised to find out that you thought this person was bougie, sweet, nice, or whatever. But you found out that this person really ratchet. You found out this person's true colors. Like, you got to see a different side to this person. And it was just surprising to you. Like, you were surprised. That's just, that's too many cards. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, you're surprised that this, like, you're coming off, like, this person trying to make it seem like you're coming off as thirsty. You feel played by this person. Maybe this person was love bombing you or you were love bombing this person, like, showering you with attention or you were showering them with attention, but you feel played, okay? I feel like some of y'all got a lot of receipts on this person. 
All right, you could be older than this person, or this person could be older than you. But you just felt like the situation was extra. Okay, you like this, this too over the top. When really you basic. Okay, you really basic. You really trying, like I'm basic. But this was supposed to be y'all was chilling on the low. We got Netflix and chill and low key. So definitely, this is for the the links, the sneaky links or whatever. Okay. <laughs> So, let's jump into the tarot. And yeah, like this person could be struggling and you're like, oh well, what do they got to do with me? Any message for Sagittarius, please? Give me a message for Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius? All right, we're going to stop it right here. Now, we got the Three of Cups here at the bottom of the deck and the Knight of Wands. Yeah. So, definitely, this, I'm getting a sneaky link vibes for sure. Like, something that was just supposed to be for fun, something exciting, something thrilling. Um... Yeah, it is, it's a good time. It's definitely a good time. I don't even know if I... I think I cut the deck. We got the King of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the World, and the Devil, the Six of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, Strength, Three of Swords, and the Moon. Okay? So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Leo... Or Pisces or Cancer. I feel like you think that this should end. Um, you're closing out a cycle with this person. And I feel like your challenge is trying to make that choice. It was a it was a challenging decision that you had to make. I feel like a lot of you may have realized that the situation was toxic. Okay. Maybe you were addicted. Maybe there was an addiction. Like you had an addiction to this person. You love being around their energy. Um, but right now it looks like you are focused on something that you're working towards that you're building. Um, maybe these are emotions and feelings that you hide, but you're afraid to get your heart broken. You're afraid to, um, be in this energy. You're afraid to be in this sorrow, uh, depressive energy. Okay. So let's talk. Let's see why the world is here. Yeah, Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles and the Lovers, okay? So, someone could, here could have been, you could have been um, very interested in this person. Very, very interested. I feel like you took a risk. You took a leap of faith with this person. Yeah, you had really high hopes for this situation. The, the star card is here. You could have been dealing with an Aquarius. But you're just trying to figure out. Like I feel like you're trying to you're analyzing the situation. You're trying to find a balance or find out how did we get here. Okay. Um, I feel like you're confused. Why is the seven of cups here? I feel like this person may have had you competing with other men or other women. I feel like you found out the truth. Could have been the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like you desired this person. You wanted this was the person that you wanted. Okay, well now we have the King of Swords here. You may have decided to cut this person off. Why is the King of Swords here? Ooh, Queen of Swords. Ooh, King of Swords and Queen of Swords. So you both are in this the same energy y'all are mirroring each other's energy okay there has definitely been a shift in the energy okay
there's definitely been a shift in the energy, but you both are mirroring each other's energy. So I'm getting like a cold energy from both parties. Okay. The situation was a little toxic. Not a little, a lot. <laughs> um... I feel like some of y'all are either waiting for an apology or you feel like this person should apologize to you or you apologize to them. Um, and that's the only way you're going to get over it. You feel like you deserve an apology. Um, so we got the Six of Cups here in the past. Yeah, you two were together recently. This So this recently happened. Okay. Now we got the Three of Pentacles for future energy. Yeah, I see you busy working. You're just, you're working a lot. You're building something. You're working towards something. You're trying new things out. You're building for sure. I feel like you miss this person though. You're throwing yourself into work. Now with the seven of pentacles, I see you definitely like, you're kind of like, kind of just like seeing where, where this goes. Like, You, you, I feel like you were patient to make sure that you made the right decision. I'm hearing, I don't care how long it takes. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The High Priestess. Your intuition is telling you somebody got, somebody pushed somebody out or somebody made... Somebody kick somebody out or push somebody out of their life and like literally kick somebody out of the home or just kept doing things to where it just pushed the person further and further away. Um, somebody's giving somebody attention else. Somebody was giving, this person was giving attention, putting a lot of attention elsewhere. Now this could be a Leo. Well, this person is very prideful. Um, they regret how they handled the situation. Something was surprising to them. Like if something out of the blue happened, you know, this situation was random. It's not, I don't feel like it was something that was planned. Um, but they may have been giving their attention elsewhere, possibly to a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, but yeah, they've been given, they have been putting their attention elsewhere. But they are kind of like having regrets. Why is the tower here? What are you doing with the Scorpio? I feel like with the tower and the seven of wands, it was like a moment of them having a, some type of epiphany that they need to stand up for themselves. They waited. They could have been possibly waiting on you to make a decision, but I'm getting like waiting um, for a decision to be made. I see you. I see you may be fearful. Yeah, the Ace of Swords came out in reverse. None of these cards are reversed. But I feel like you don't have clarity on the situation. We got temperance here, which is you guys' energy. I feel like you fear the truth. Like you don't want to know the truth because I feel like some of y'all are just afraid of getting hurt. So it's like you don't even really care to know the truth. Some of y'all just decided to just run away from this connection. You're not sure how you feel. You feel like maybe you got taken advantage of. Um, it's like, yeah, the sex is good, but the situation is too much. So some, some of y'all walked out, okay? So we got the moon as your outcome. I feel like you still think about this person. Got the moon and the eight of swords. I feel like you still think about this person from time to time. Not all, not... I feel like you you know you you hide it but you think about you think about it okay you just needed to slow things down maybe things are just moving a little too fast maybe you just feel like you needed to slow down
Yeah, like maybe you feel like it. You know, I'll get back around to it. But right now, look, let's just be friends, okay? Because, yeah, right now I'm walking out. I'm walking out, and you can't stop me, okay? This is too much. I feel like this situation is a burden, and, you know, you could be focused on the family. You could be focused on your money, but, yeah, okay? It's like you're possibly, some of y'all are, like, being celibate at this time. I'm hearing no sex, Okay? And because the relationship just moved too fast, like it's just something was just too fast, and and you you know you you really are uncertain about how you really feel about it. So you're slowing things down, taking some time to figure things out, and there's nothing wrong with that. All right, so let's see what this person's intentions is towards towards it. What is this person's intentions towards my Sagittarius? What is this person's intentions for Sagittarius? It's like too many cards coming out. There we go. We got girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. This person is busy living their life. They're out having fun. They're making time for friends. They're moving on. They could be happily single. Yeah, I feel like this person has accepted this ending. Okay, we got the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. This person has accepted that there is an ending to this situation. I feel like we got the golden mirror. This person has became, this person could have been a narcissist. They like things to be one sided. They could have been love bombing you. Um, and but they're self absorbed. Self absorbed. They put themselves first. We got hammer. Yeah. This person feels like this situation has been sabotaged. They feel like, yeah, they feel like it's been sabotaged. Like it has been broken down. Okay. I see a lot of passion and kisses here. We got camera. They could be reminiscing, looking at your looking at old memories or pictures with you and just kind of reminiscing. I see them spying as well. They're looking at your pictures. But I feel like this person has accepted the ending. I feel like they've accepted the ending. Like, they are trying to move on. But they still go back and look at, look at or think about you from time to time. Now, we got masks. This person was definitely wearing a mask. And for a lot of you, this was a karmic relationship. It was karmic because this person held up a mirror to you. Okay? So, a lot of lessons were to be learned from this situation. Okay? This person held a mirror up to you. They did not show their hand. This person could have been married um, but was left heartbroken. We got the snake. Yeah, this person could have been your competition, um, was, could have been clever, been your enemy, been malicious. This could have been the other woman or the other male. The butterfly. Relationship evolving in the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Okay, so this person seems like they are just blossoming into their next phase. This person could be very seductive. Like, they seduce people and then they run off. I feel like this person really did does like you. But the truth about this situation is, is that they want you to chase them. Okay? All right, so that's the message that I have for my Sagittarius. If this message resonates with you guys, be sure to hit the like button, share with your family and your friends, and subscribe if you are new. All right, until next time, ciao for now.